Hi guys, I've downloaded myself an Arch Linux ISO 2023 0415. So I'm going to install that one. And let's have Arch clone, Arch enter, enter, finish, optical drive, choose, downloads, Arch Linux open, start, and off we go, right? We've told uh, VirtualBox to resemble a UEFI, so not a bias. That's why we see everything black. And we boot up. If we would say it's bias, it's going to have this beautiful Arch Linux logo. No, it does not. One of the things that the Arch Linux ISO does is boot up. <laughs> Thank God, right? But behind the scenes, there's a lot of work going on. And that's something people don't really tell you. And at this point in time, Pac-Man is working very, very hard, right? So you have to wait a little bit. And I have to wait any anyway because I need to get to my keys. So that's a good thing for me. So in the meantime, while I get my keys, something is working hard to get the keys in this one and this one remember that this is the good look this is go ahead look right if there's like three four five lines then it's not finished the process of the package man initialization service is not finished then right so this is the good look i can go ahead and now the surprise this is not arch Linux iso I type A L I S enter yes enter yes enter and I go eat and the installation goes automatically it will install whatever I told him to install it will use the reflector you see there the countries and it will use the countries I selected and it will install the best Arch Linux servers for it. It will install, in this case, XFC, that was my decision, with Light DM, with an extra AOR package from, um, what was it? Inksy, I think. Duff. Firefox will be installed. Melt will be installed. Sublime Text will be installed. And all of that happens with me not doing anything right i just observe and that's the fun if you go to the ariser website ariser.eu from europe right you'll see what i mean it's an unattended way of installing your operating system of course based on arch not a deviant one not anything else right so it's a super easy way to get an Arch Linux system on anything, right? Hard disk, NVMe, SSD. And you make the choices in advance. I want to have Plasma, I want to have Mateo, I want to have eh, in Cinnamon and so on. And you let the thing do its job. And you see here, there's a warning, fail to rate, etc. Doesn't matter, right? He's, he's trying to find servers. And your servers are just like any other computer down, right? Or there is congestion and people can't get in there, right? Here Linux headers are passing by. It's all about choices. It's Arch Linux provides us with blocks, Lego blocks, and you pick the Lego blocks. I want to have Grub to boot up or I want to have systemd boot to boot up. It's in here. It's a selection. It's a variable. Yes, no, I want this, want that. And all you do is put something on your GitHub, create your own ISO. In this case, it's a riser. I've created my personal ISO next to it, Sierra, right? You can do, and I've made already a video about it as well. Uh, what did we call it? Flow or something, right? So what are we talking about? Let him do the job. Control G, a riser, dot EU. 
it's been explained it has been explained is better build your own iso and we've called it area right we wanted to give it the name and we gave it the word area and we've shown you how it easy it is to get plasma on your system we could have chosen any desktop but we chose plasma right make your own personal Arsenalix ISO based on a riser under 60 minutes and it's literally without pausing a video of 60 minutes and you end up with your personal ISO and why am I making this video because behind here behind the scene is a guy Pico Pico is the developer of the Alice project and Pico created an update two weeks ago made an update and I said let's test it so if you need to install another system then you're going to grab the code compare it add it meld it right and done and this is the done part right after installing we'll have a look and then later maybe i'll make a rising video about this so this was lightm and we end up in xfce and yes, it's still a very basic XFC, but I have made decisions. What Lego blocks do I want from Arch and from AOR? There is no Arclinx near anywhere, right? Melt and Sublime Text is what I want. Internet, uh, our browser maybe, right? Multimedia, nothing yet. Office, nothing yet, and so on. You make decisions and you want to show off that you are still on. So new fetch is installed and Inksy is installed and voila and a few packages are there so if this is something that sounds good for you right have a look a riser is there the home of a riser is here it's meshing together a project of pico and the arch stuff right arch link stuff and yes voila and those are my selling points maybe you could be interested all right, cheers.